So I'm watching ever increasing faith, and they're making the point today that Jesus um, was born spiritually pure. Mm -hmm. But somehow he had to sin or do something sinful enough to die on the cross. Well, that's another reason why he might have married one woman, woman and had sex with seven others, right? See, um, the women approach him being divorced from their husband because they could not have a child. Mm -hmm. That's what the whole scripture is about if you trace it back to Rachel. Mm -hmm. The other men could not impregnate them. Only Christ could with his pure seed from God, right? But he was with eight, eight. <laughs> it might have been with the last one after the cross to prove the resurrection and have a son with her. See, I believe the seven also had daughters, right? <clears throat> now, the disciples could talk about this in their oral teachings, all right, but not write it out fully, right? Because Peter was worried that the religious Jews at the time wouldn't understand it written out for some reason, whatever the reason. But Peter kind of took over the church. Now, the problem is whoever took over it after Peter <clears throat> didn't like the Gnostics writing out more details, especially about Jesus being in drunkenness, kind of sarcastically saying that the serpent gave us knowledge, right, and different things like that. Mm -hmm. Well, if you really read into it, right, <clears throat> They're being sarcastic sometimes, right? To show sometimes, okay, you can't take everything literally. Because mm -hmm. see, like the man picking up the sticks and Moses going to the tent and God telling you to kill him, right? That's good and evil too, right? Okay, see, God does not tell you to murder anyone or really anything, right? Now, why do you think it was fruits and vegetables at first, right? Because, see, you can pick the fruit of and vegetables of a tree and not kill the tree, which can produce more fruit and vegetables, right, for you to eat, right? Let's be honest about that, too, right? <laughs> but you have to kill an animal to eat of it, right? Now, I'm not telling everyone to suddenly become vegan that ain't going to work. <laughs> I'm also not saying there ain't a way in Eden you might could have ate meat, right? And not the animal be resurrected and healed and not die and not die. We don't know how far it went. <laughs> but after the fall, everything started dying because of Satan going down into the grave. <laughs> Something had to die first, too, by the way. <laughs> it was the body of Satan from heaven itself and uh, in the divine form. Right? Both male and female, Jew and Gentile. Bond and free, right? So he's the son of Jesus in his female flock. You can call her Mary too if you like. I don't know, whatever, right? It's just an example, right? But her name is at least Yolda. Yolda. Young woman. Young woman. About to give birth. I know. Well, that's significant. I know. In the names 
of the forms, right? Gabor could be both in the same body. Because that's the strength of God, right? Then Ish is the middleman, but he could also be stronger than Gabor or Yolda. Oh, no. Yolda means the male impregnated his wife, right? Of Jesus, once they became two, right? And yet, Jesus can be all three, too, right? Unlike Satan, who sinned in the image of God with Adam and Eve, right? But also went into anal sex, right? To defile their tabernacle. Mm hmm. Now, I'm not saying anal sex with the female defiles your tabernacle. But with both, and doing it with Satan, would. <laughs> Three buttholes. <laughs> Three buttholes were penetrated. See, what Satan is trying to do at the time is convince Adam it'll feel good <laughs> to do both holes, right? Now, first, you, you can't introduce anal sex to me if I'm not sure about it. So you got to start with straight sex first. <laughs> and let me have sex with you straight. <laughs> and then introduce me to anal and show me it feels similar, right? There ain't too much of a difference in the feeling, right? But see, I never did it up the butt before, right? Either, if I'm at him, if I'm at him. Now... <laughs> All he has to do is do it rough and hard. <laughs> and Adam ain't gonna like it from the start. <laughs> and since they had an agreement, he had to let him finish too. That's probably part of the agreement too, right? You can't change it until the finish though, right? And, uh, you know how subtle Satan is. If I let you finish, you gotta let me finish. <laughs> Once it starts, right? <laughs> and see, that's when they both knew they were naked after he finished with Adam. <laughs> they were naked, right? You notice it's not until after Adam knew Satan, right? They, they both knew they were naked, right? <laughs> You're not hearing the text, <laughs> You're blocking out certain details. <laughs> Especially when he says the man has become as one of us to do good and evil. That implicates a human being, not <laughs> one of the angels in human form and had sex with Adam. <laughs> and Eve and Eve. Reversed. Reversed. Well, to spiritually die, Jesus had to have sex and, uh, with at least seven women before the cross, right? I think he had sex with Mary after the cross, right? And he also might have had to have been raped, right? Like Tamar or Dina. Mm -hmm. By one of the Roman soldiers, right? Which again, they wouldn't write that out. It's already written out in the old about <laughs> the rape of Dina and Tamar mm -hmm. as the daughters of Israel and David. <laughs> Remember? Remember? Now, the difference with Dina is Sechem offered to marry her and was trying to do the right thing or the honorable thing with Dina, right? But not Amnon, no, no. <laughs> he was raping his half-sister, you know, and wanted her to just lie with him. <laughs> and again, mm -hmm. Maybe he got it from Abraham and Sarah, too. I don't know. I know. They were half-brother and half-sister, too, right? 
They too had the same father, but a different mother, right? If you understand. <laughs> but he wasn't to rape her like Dina, but I guess he thought he could. <laughs> See, that's where Satan is using the scriptures like with Jesus to get you to do something wrong. It's like if a father tries to rape his daughter, he's misinterpreting Lot's daughter. <laughs> yes, he is, yes, he is, yes, he is. Where the daughters are seducing the father because they're afraid to mate with any other male. And they're getting older too and they're living in a cave somewhere and have to go and scrounge for food, right? And want to carry on their father's line, right? And they're not trusting any other man but their father, right? Which is not right, but it's not something you can change either. But they each had a child, a son, with their father, right? But of course, that's not normal, right? That's the whole point, that, right? To the tale. Mm -hmm. That's not what normally is done anyway, but it's in the Bible for whatever reason, right? <laughs> See, if the father doesn't know the daughter is his daughter and you try to trick him into being with his daughter, right, that's wrong too, right? It's also like with what? No. <laughs> See, the way grace works though too is you gotta know something's wrong. <laughs> When Satan went to the anal sex, okay, and Adam never did it before, once he did it with him, he felt and knew it was wrong. <laughs> he felt shame from it too, right? <laughs> but he agreed to the terms beforehand, right? And Satan is trying to seduce him into it, right? But the purpose is to corrupt him, right? And that's the point. Satan's both, right? <laughs> so he's going to use his female side, right? To show him anal and vaginal sex feels the same for him. And say, it feels just as good in the butt, <laughs> right? As it does in the vagina. This is probably how they get you with going gay anyway. It feels the same, right? That's why I don't do anal at all. <laughs> but I'm a little skittish about blowjobs because they feel kind of weird. With It's not as tight as the vagina, right? <laughs> But if you do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't, right? That's up to you, too, right? I'm not telling people, okay, who are doing it, I can stop you from doing it all of a sudden. What I am telling you is the key thing is consent with a person or a straight. <laughs> and you can try to rape a person into it. <laughs> you try it with me, and we're going to fight. <laughs> I'm going to say, no, we're going to fight. You're going to have to do something more to get me on the ground. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can skull fuck someone is if they're dead. <laughs> is if they're dead. <sighs> but then I wouldn't have an eyeball anymore at all. <laughs> <laughs> But then you would be desecrating a corpse, which is also a felony. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway. I still would say God could heal me on as fast as it needs to, like the Wolverine. <laughs> as soon as you leave, as soon as you leave. <sighs> 
because they're also going to call the police department to have them do a drive-by. <laughs> Probably too. They want them to find me dead in the front yard or something. <laughs> if they were to take it that far. I'm hoping they're not. I don't recall. I don't recall. <laughs> Now, Jesus gives us to do the works that he did also, right? And greater works and greater works. That's something they forget too, right? They try to make you feel unworthy by your sins too, right? But that's why Jesus died for our sins on the cross anyway, right? To still give us the power to go back to God, to be redeemed, atoned, and forgiven our sins, right? But I did learn it's also about poor appreciation, p- p- right? <laughs> Now, the church has to feed you, I guess, mainly milk. Mm -hmm. And the thing about the milk is it's not the meat, right? It's not the deeper things of God. Mm -hmm. And you're all acting as babes, right? You're not growing into the whole doctrine, right? You might get as far as 60-fold with some of the things you're dealing with, but you won't go 100-fold anymore. And, uh, though you're not lukewarm, I guess, right? Per se, per se. You're at least (laughs) 60-40. But when it comes to the seven seals, you're still sealing them, right? The men and the women, (laughs) And even though there are hermaphrodites, they don't go around saying they're the image of God, but guess what? They're the image of God, right? Not you, not you. <laughs> and we've been lied to about it by Constantine and the Orthodox. See, Orthodoxy started with the Jews first, right? And then became part of Christianity. Mm-hmm. And what it does is even though the divine name is feminine, right, they replace it with Adonai, or or Nai, however you would say it. They say Nai now. (laughs) But that just means Lord, right? My Lord, my Lord. The Lord said to my Lord, Yahuwah said to Adonai Nai Nai <laughs> We'll see it's like he or hey and uh why would it be he if who is part of Elijah's name, Eliyahu? Could it be El He? He sorry El 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 He He sorry El 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 He He sorry El. Not Hey, not Hey. Yet yeah, elsewhere is He not Hey. <laughs> when you. Add new to it is he knew, not he knew. Why not? Right? Do you forget that? <laughs> right. See if you change it from he to hey, right? But say Ella he knew, right? Uh oh. 
you're forgetting something. Uh, you're trying to change it to hey, which hey is the first syllable of Satan's name, by the way, by the way. But Isaiah was revealed in chapter 14. <laughs> But it's hey lel. Mm -hmm. It still has the L within it, but lel is one word. Right. It means behold night or darkness. Uh, or evil or evil. <laughs> Lilith. Right. <laughs> okay. Is a play on the word night as well, but also means screech owl. Mm hmm. You know that scary owl sound you hear in the horror movies? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so, what else does it say? <laughs> About travailing as a woman. <laughs> I shall what? <laughs> as a woman in travail. Scream, yell. <laughs> as a woman in travail. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure she gets high pitched sometimes too. <laughs> But these are part of what they're selling. <laughs> Where the Lord is feminine, masculine, and both. And both. It's the Gabor part that might scare, confuse you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, either Paul was allowed to bring it out in Galatians, and Peter edited Corinthians, right? Maybe, maybe. Where he's saying something similar. By one spirit you're all baptized into one body. Whether Jew or Gentile bond or free. Right. Male and female. Mm -hmm. Now. Or. By the time of Rome. Right. And after Rome. They started editing it out. Right. Because they weren't comfortable with Paul saying you're all baptized into one body, and they would know that would implicate androgyny from the Gnostic point of view. Right. So they started editing it out after Constantine. Right. If Paul also included the male and female there. Because see, in Galatians it says you put on Christ. Right. When you're baptized into Christ, you put on Christ. They allowed that one. <laughs> it's ambiguous enough that, you know, you can't say for sure. But by saying, by one spirit, you're all baptized into one body, right? If you include the male and female there, which the male and female are two, also made one by the body of Christ, as it's explained in Ephesians 2, 14 to 18, right? But that applies to them. And there's also a hidden mystery, right? The hidden man. There's a hidden truth, right? Dealing with the seven seals that you can't see as men, right? You want God's image to be male, not male and female. That freaks you out. Mm hmm Because of the sin with Satan, though, who was also male and female, right? He used the divine image to sin sexually with you with you with our forefathers our forefather and foremother right now the mother could handle the anal sex better than adam she had done been penetrated so she knows what it feels like right too that's why she wouldn't see it as evil until it was done to adam and how painful it was for him 
And really, his shame is more her shame. Right. You understand? Right. And she knew she was naked. Right. With him, after he knew Satan. Right. The word knew is the word for sex, by the way. I keep telling you that. And Adam knew his wife even she conceived. Right. It's probably within the same day. Right. They're doing all this, right? Okay. 24-hour Earth Day, by the way. <laughs> so, after Satan had his way with Eve and Adam, right? Right? They knew they were naked, right? It's also called... Having your way with them. <laughs> Whatever it is. Now I'm not saying. If you're gay. Anal sex is. Off the table for you. Right. Either either. I'm saying that's the way Satan did Adam. Virgin wise. <laughs> that made him feel it was evil. And condemn it. Himself. For doing it with Satan. But also didn't confess it. To Jesus that he had sex with. Satan. Because Jesus was probably slain by Satan with a what? Stone-tipped spear. Mm -hmm. Ain't that how Neanderthals hunted? Right. With a stone-tipped spear. Then later on, metal urgy started coming out. Right. And then Jesus was slain with an iron-tipped spear. And, uh, that's why I say a gun. Even if you shoot me, Jesus can heal me like the Wolverine, right? Because of the iron tip spear put into his heart, right? If he, if God raised him from the dead with that, similar to leprosy and things like that, right? God can heal me of a bullet wound to the head, any part of my body, right? Now, you can't do a snuff film of me in my neighborhood because people might recognize it. That you're trying to really kill me. <laughs> but you can lure me with a female with fake IDs and something, right? Or even if she's out of state, you think it don't apply when it does, right? See, if someone comes into your home and you're a Georgia resident, and they go into your bedroom, they're being a guest for the night. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not a hotel, but a scene like that. Mm -hmm. She's an out-of-state guest, right? And I'm not the one seducing her to be with me. You are, you are. But you got to seduce her first, not me, not me. See, when she shows up, I don't even know what's going on. Right? Hey. At first, I'm going to be inquisitive how she knows me, what's going on. Right? Hey. You know, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> but see, that's the point. I don't kiss and tell either, but if I don't remember you, I don't remember you, but you would remember me, because if it's your first time, I'm going to let you be on top, right? So you're trying to make it a sin. Like, if Jesus was with seven women who had sex with their husbands, but they get pregnant, right? And they divorced them because they didn't get pregnant, right? But they had their own money by then. <laughs> Susanna. Oh, Susanna. And some of the women provided for Jesus, remember? Didn't Luke say that? <laughs> they say they will eat their own bread and wear their own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. It's not just about sin. It's also about not having a child with their husband. Right. It's about both. The word reproach applies two ways for a woman 
according to Rachel and Genesis, right? When she conceived and finally had Joseph, she said, the Lord has taken away my reproach among women. <laughs> well, that's why. He, he had to be with the seven before the cross and Mary after the cross to show that even if he was raped by the soldier, he was still straight, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> and still had the desire of women. <laughs> Which is another requisition for the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say to the homosexuals, it's okay to marry, I want them to be committed as a married couple is. If you're going to do it, okay, don't do it as Satan did, right? Do it in love. And love. All right? And don't do it in the closet <laughs> with a man and a woman, right? But see, that's why Jesus is trying to help everybody. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe Paul was a little too harsh on them, too. But in the next chapter, he's talking about adultery, too. Right. Hmm. If it's an adulterous thing to look upon a woman to lust after her in your heart. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean for us? Well, <laughs> And the homosexuals, right? But marriage is honorable in all. Mm -hmm. You might also say to all, to all. And the bed undefiled, right? See, whatever you do in the bedroom, if you're married, is your business, right? Even if it's two men or two women, right? Because, see, Christ came not to condemn the world, Christians, but that the world through him might be saved. Not even if you're gay. But some men have a problem with the stigmatism of homosexuality. See, they're embarrassed because, again, they're in the closet about it with, among their friends, and only their partner knows the truth, right? Now, women are more open about being gay than men sometimes, too, because it's more shameful from men to men anyway. Mm -hmm. Like I said about being gay in the Navy, they got to keep that a secret. Because <laughs> the UCMJ says no sodomy. <laughs> no sodomy. Zero, zero, sodomy. You can't even... That's a... Capital punishment. You'll go to Captain's Mass or Court Martial. Oh no. I don't know everything, but. Oh, no. Right, right. Now, if a gay guy helps me move my furniture, right, that's different, right? But we don't have sex. We don't have sex because I'm straight, right? But see, I, I got married and I was divorcing my wife and moving into a new apartment, right? But I still like women, right? If you was to ask, right? Would be all I was saying. You know, if you feel gay, I don't judge you, right? You know, but I don't feel the same way, right? I wouldn't even make a move on you. We would just move the furniture, right? Into the apartment. And, uh, though I'd offer him a few bucks, right? Of course, right? And that's different, right? See, that's why I know you can also work with gay people. <laughs> some, some. <laughs> now, if they're in the closet type, it's harder to work with them. No, no. If you're straight, if you're straight. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. But it doesn't have to be impossible. Well, the only reason I know... If a male cousin is gay, who I mentioned somewhat, is why? 
we stayed with our grandma. <laughs> and she found magazines of men under his bed. <laughs> and that's why we know, Bubba. <laughs> Guess what kind of magazines I got? Playboy, Penthouse. <laughs> That's why we know. That's why we know. But we're not judging you. We love you as you are. You know. Not trying to out you either. Either if you're not. There he is. That's why I'm using your Bubba as a means brother from your sister. <laughs> Bubba's a common phrase. <laughs> They're not going to know who you are. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> That's why we know. <laughs> Grandma told us. <laughs> when you were living with her. Mm -hmm. And I only buy Playboy Penthouse. Sometimes Hustle, which might have the girl and the guy, but <laughs> I look at the girl, not the guy. <laughs> But I'm not here to judge anymore. You know? That's where you got to get to, Christians. Quit judging under condemnation. Which this first sin, and the, the true sin in Eden, is both play God to each other. You know? And neither one confessed what really happened. You no, know? no. Where the Gnostics had to write it out a little bit separately, right? That Nas, in a a s, <laughs> the angel had sex with Eve and did Adam like a boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But see, that's from Naja Trois. <laughs> Not two couples, a couple. You know, from Naja Trois. <laughs> three, three. Had sex and eaten. <laughs> anal sex. Anal sex. But like I said, in the bed, even if you have anal sex with your wife, is undefiled. Same if you're two gay men or two gay women. The Lord would give them that. The Lord respects the law, even if men don't. <laughs> All right, hopefully this will open up your eyes and you'll stop being so good and evil to each other. And, uh...